we should tell them that if they collect Kingsmill tokens, they can get free sports kit for their club. Definitely. Oi, get your kit on! For free sports kit and equipment for your club, collect tokens from Kingsmill Packs now. Mama's bolognese. How she make it to burst with so much flavor? Our secret, eh? <laughs> when is it your dormio day? In a real Italian pizzeria, the pizza has rich toppings and a crispy, thin base. And that's exactly how Pizza Ristorante is. Wherever you are, Ristorante, the pizzeria taste. Ristorante by Dr. Utka. A cup of Tetley and you're ready for anything. <clears throat> Warm hands, Smithers. <laughs> Ready, Tetley, go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I told him he could have got a spare pair free if he'd gone to Specsavers. The high-speed world of AOL broadband is now better value than ever. There are no setup costs, it's easy to connect, and now you don't even pay for the modem. You get all the excitement and entertainment of AOL broadband, all for one low monthly price of $27.99. There's never been a better time to experience AOL broadband, so for your free modem offer, call now on 08000 83 82 81. AOL. What happens is in your hands. Time to eat the new diet at Weight Watchers. I can eat real food and still lose weight. It works. So you can wear whatever you want. Join before the 11th of October and register free. Plus, get our free booklet, Time to Get Going. For your nearest meeting, call 08457 123 000. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Louisa Preston. Three American soldiers were killed in Iraq today as President George Bush prepares to appeal to the UN for help in reconstructing the country, but is likely to face opposition from those who oppose the war. Keith Dorr reports. Abu Ghraib jail held thousands of political prisoners under Saddam Hussein. Now under the Americans, hundreds of Saddam loyalists and criminals are imprisoned here. It's a regular target for attack. Last night's killed two U.S. soldiers and wounded 13 more. No inmates were hurt. Another U.S. soldier is reported to have died in a separate incident overnight. West of Baghdad, these locals cheered another mortar attack on a U.S. convoy this morning. If you send your troops here, this is what will happen, says this man. After yesterday's assassination attempt on a member of the Iraqi governing council in Baghdad, U.S. doctors say Akila al-Hashimi is out of danger. Overnight, more U.S. raids were carried out into Crete as international concern at the situation in Iraq mounts. U.S. plans for a multinational force will be put to the United Nations this week, but there's strong opposition from countries who want the U.N., not the Americans, to be in charge. Keith Doyle, 5 News. The Liberal Democrats began their annual conference in Brighton today, boosted by their by-election victory in Brent East. With the Tories being beaten into third place, Lib Dem leader Charles Kennedy thinks they have the chance to become the main opposition party. I think a lot of those disillusioned Conservative voters will say, yes, we want in our democracy a decent, effective opposition against this government. We're not getting it from our previous party of loyalty. We will get it from the Liberal Democrats, and I think more of those former Conservative voters will come to us. A Muslim army chaplain working with Taliban and Al-Qaeda suspects being held at Guantanamo Bay has been arrested. Captain James Yee is being held at a naval base in South Carolina after being arrested by military police. A space probe has been sent plummeting into Jupiter, ending an eight-year mission to study the planet. NASA destroyed the Galileo spaceship to avoid any chance of it crashing into one of Jupiter's moons, which may harbour water and life. On to sport now, and Tottenham Football Club has sacked its manager, Glenn Hoddle. The former England boss has been under pressure after a string of defeats at the start of the Premiership season. On the pitch, Manchester United and Arsenal only managed a goalless draw in their clash today. In a bad-tempered match, Ruud van Nistelrooy missed an injury-time penalty, 
and Patrick Vieira was sent off. In the only Scottish Premiership game, Rangers beat Hearts by four goals to nil. Tomorrow's weather now, heavy rain moving southwards, a top temperature of 19 Celsius. That's it. I'm back in an hour. Join me then.